continent in the world except for Antarctica. And it's just too cold down there for these guys to live. Welcome back to Avian Adventures from the Raptor Center. As the seasons change, so do our wardrobes. As humans, we wear different clothing depending on the weather. We have different types of jackets for when it's cold or rainy. We have different lengths for tops and bottoms for when it starts to get chilly or hot. So what do birds do to protect themselves from the elements? Well, it turns out feathers are more than just helpful tools to fly or look good. For example, have you ever noticed that birds tend to puff out their feathers as it gets colder? This does a couple things for them. One, it makes them look adorable. Two, it allows birds to trap air bubbles in between their downy feathers. The trapped air becomes warm from the bird's body heat, adding another layer of protection from the cold air outside. This works so well, humans mimic birds by making jackets with goose down feathers to help keep warm. Not only do humans put on jackets to stay warm, but sometimes we put on big cozy socks that help keep our toes warm. For any animal, toes are very vulnerable to the cold. Some raptors have adapted to having feathers that go all the way down their toes. Owls specifically are known for this. They tend to stay in or near their territory year round, so having built-in socks when winter comes is a necessity. Snowy owls even have feathers that grow in between their toes that act like snowshoes. This helps them not to sink in the snow as they hunt. Other raptors, like rough-legged hawks, have feathers that run all the way down their legs that act like built-in pants. On really chilly days, some raptors will tuck their feet close to their bodies to help keep their toes warm. Feathers not only help birds stay warm, but they also protect them from the rain. If you ever get a chance to watch a bird preen, pay close attention to how they do it. As they preen their feathers, birds will use their beak to squeeze an oil gland that is on the base of their tail. While the oil is on their beak, they will then spread it on each of their feathers. This oil helps make the feathers waterproof. So instead of getting soaking wet during a light rain, the droplets slide right off a bird's back. This allows them to fly and take shelter before a heavy rainfall hits. If a bird's feathers get too wet, they are not able to fly. So having a built-in waterproof system comes in handy. If you find a sick or injured animal out in the wild, the best thing you can do is call a rehabilitation center and have them walk you through how to help. Did you know that we can actually destroy feathers by petting wild birds? The oils on human hands can actually ruin the oils that animals produce to help them survive in the wild. Please resist the temptation to pet birds no matter how cute they may be. Thanks for tuning in. See you next week for another exciting episode of Avian Adventures.